Okay, so let's give you guys some more practice. So here, um, two questions here. Uh, the first one is to find out the limit of this as x approaches um, positive infinity. And, uh, and on, a, on a different question here, um, as x approaches negative 4 over 7. Okay, so um, if, if, if you look at this here, try, try to imagine what happens as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger and heads towards infinity. Well, the top part will be, well, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, it will head towards negative infinity. Because um, uh, this, this here, x is getting towards, x is heading towards positive infinity. But because you've got a negative here, it really heads towards negative infinity. Um, and then, and then, and then, looking at the bottom part here, um, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the whole part here will get well. It will head towards infinity. So here, you you can't really deduce much here. So infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over infinity, you can't deduce much. So you got to you got to be cunning. Um, re remember, try and somehow get this in into something like. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can get it over, get get it into something like this. Um, you see, when you have something like this, and x gets bigger and bigger, you can say the whole thing here heads towards uh, towards zero. Or or if you have something like um, uh, I don't know, two over x squared, and then as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, you can say the whole thing here will head towards zero. Well. There's a trick that you should use. Well, anyway, try and solve this and try and solve this here. This here, if you try and if when x heads towards um, towards negative four over seven here, if you if you try and plug this in here, you will have um, you will have something over uh, over zero, um, which well you can't have something over. Well, anyway, try and um, try and work this out. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so so the trick here is to um, for the first part, the trick here is to to um, to divide top and bottom here by uh, by x. Okay, th this is just a trick. Now, when you divide this by x here, um, it, it it will look like this. Okay, hang on. So so really, we're, we're dividing top and bottom here by by x. So we are dividing this by x. So uh, that would then become uh, m minus x over x. So th this here will then become negative, well, it then becomes negative 1 here. The bottom part, r remember, we are, we are dividing the whole bubble here by, by x. So, um, so, so you, you, you can imagine it like this, plus 4, so the whole bubble here divided by x. And then you, you, you can break the, uh, the 2 apart, so it becomes um, 7x over x. Uh, and and then um, uh, and then uh, let, let let me think. Sorry, yeah, seven x over x uh, plus four over x. So you see, uh, w w when you divide the whole bubble here by by x here, um, it will well this bit here will become seven. That's why this is a seven, and this here is four over x. Now the good part, is, uh, the good thing about having something over x is that you can say as x heads towards infinity. Well, this here doesn't really have an x, so it will always be at negative one. Okay, and then and then well, you see as x heads towards positive infinity, this term here will will will, will head towards zero. So you can pretty much forget about this term. Okay, because four over four divided by nine 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 nine, it's it's gonna it's going to be near zero. So, so as x heads towards infinity, this thing here will be zero. So it, it will, it will, well, it will. The overall limit will be one, will be negative one over seven. Okay, um, and then, and then for this one here, um, well, if, if you try and put this into here, it will, the uh, the limit at the top will be positive four over seven. You see, the limit at the top is a is a definite limit other than other than zero, and then the bottom part it will head towards zero. So that's a that, that's that really useful theorem that I, I keep on telling you that whenever whenever the top part heads towards a uh, whenever it has a, a limit other than zero and the limit of the bottom part is um, is is zero, then you can say 
the uh, the overall limit does not exist. So so here this here the the limit of this does not exist. Whereas the limit of this here is um, is negative one over seven. And if if you look at the graph, hang on. If you look at the graph here, so this here the, the red line here this here and uh, and this here is the um, the function here. Um, as well, you can see as x um, heads towards infinity, positive infinity. So as x keeps on going uh, towards infinity, it's, it's heading towards a limit. See, this here is a limit, and this here is actually negative one over seven. Okay, the limit. So this bit here, this bit here is one negative one over seven. Okay, and then then the other the other limit here. Well, here you've got an asymptote um, neg at negative four over seven. Um, so here the the the, 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 li the limit of the top part is is positive four over seven, and it's a definite limit. And then the 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 the, uh, the denominator here, the limit of the denominator is zero. So you can see that the the limit here does not exist. Okay, and then from the right hand side it goes upwards. So so here the limit doesn't exist. So here the limit doesn't exist. Here the limit is uh, is negative one over seven. Okay.